All right, guys, we are here at SHOT Show 2023 at the Umarex booth. Now I'm with Aiden Hansen. Aiden is, uh, I love you, man. You're a ton of fun. And I know you've been out hunting. And yes. uh, Umarex has the new hammer carbine. Carbine. Yeah. All right, so a shortened hammer, basically. Uh, we've got some interesting stuff going on here. Uh, let, let's talk about like the original hammer, what it does, and then right. kind of the transition to the carbine. So the, the original hammer had, uh, you know, the barrel length is at that you know 30 inch mark yeah. roughly um, from there. So depending on what, what you do, if you put like a yep. special on it or whatever, yep. you have the option at that point to also put a peaking tinny rail on here uh, with an M lock, and yep. you can put a bipod and some other things. Um, Operational, it's exactly the same. If you look at okay. both of these, yep. they operate exactly the same. So same two-shot magazine same system. Same two-shot magazine okay. that goes in there. The big difference in this one is we used to get three full shots, and then that fourth shot was about 95% somewhere in that sure. area. This one you get four, four full shots out of it. Oh, neat. And that's because I'm just from seeing it, a little bit bigger bottle? Yeah, it's a 34 cubic inch tanks on there. So Okay, very uh, cool. So we're getting the full four out of that. Peak continuing rails, everything's exactly the same. Just by holding it, if you pick up the difference It there, feels really good. And aim it out. Yes, really good. It balances really well. Yeah, and, and so from a power perspective, obviously we're cutting that barrel length down, so we're gonna lose some, but this is still a powerhouse. Four, 50, 500 foot pounds somewhere in there? Right, it's, it's about the same foot pounds that we're producing there. And I just shot a deer with it about a week, a little over a week ago. Yeah. Somewhere in that area, and uh, it's no problem with the 320s. Okay. It can get a little angry when you start going up in the grain weight. So, okay, got it. You know, it, if you're shooting it, it's a, it's a straight up air gun. So yeah. this thing's dumping 3,000 psi every time it pushes out of there. Yeah. But so still that regulated system. Still regulated system. You can count it like a, it's predictable for the four shots. Now, is it still a, a 4350 or 4, 4,500 psi fill, or this, we... one, this one's like 4350. Okay, gotcha. Because All right. change from the tank from there. Right. This one's 4500 here. Just, right. Just tank design. Period. Small so, difference, not a big deal, but yeah. still regged at 3,000 psi. Still regged at 3,000 yeah. psi. Really cool. Uh, so it's still got the Foster fitting. You know, that's yep. the one thing in the air gun industry. We can just get everybody just to do the Foster. Agreed. Fitting. Agreed. I got like six probes, and I'm like, yes. Dying. Yes. I lose them half the time. So, it's the right probe. Yep. Yeah. So same easy function and bolt system. I, yes. I, everything's carried over Super here. Fast. So for those of you that are going to be like in a blind, you're telling me like this is money in a blind, and I believe you 100. percent Oh yeah. If, yeah. You're, if you're in a tripod, you know, or something like that, where you don't have much space, literally the tripod that was in, there was an inch of space on each end. Oh yeah. If I'd have had this, yeah. I would have the gun sticking up. And you're moving it around, the deer's gonna bust you. So. Right. Perfect. All right. So hammer carbine coming to you guys soon. 50 cal. You're gonna want to check this out. You hunters out there are gonna love this thing. Uh, but Umarex isn't done. Let's uh, let's check out the Primal 20, my yeah, friend. Yeah, the Primal 20. I think you might have had some experience with that. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Just a little. A little jealous. <laughs> and again, I don't always get to shoot everything first. So, but we got we got the 20 here. We got a Delrin magazine. Yep. It's a two-shot magazine. Yes. Uh, you'll notice the port of the back is smaller than what the port of the front is. You can either shoot a, a 20 gauge shotgun shell. We, yep. give you a, we have a, uh, a shot cup that will actually be placed in here. You can fill it up with your shot depending on what you want. Nice. And then put a little cap on top of that and it should be good to go. So yep. So it's, so this shuttle system here is not auto indexing, right? It's you have not to, auto indexing. So you cock, the, you cock it back and you, it's got this little button on the side here and you push this over. Uh, but it's really simple. Right. Like in the field, it's so quick. Um, because your hand's already right there. So you just press it, press it over, and you're good to go. Uh, it's sealed internally here. Uh, this gun produces about 400 foot-pounds of memory serves right. with, with the, right. um, uh, they're like a, a sabotaged slug looking thing. It's a little weird to describe. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, it's like a shotgun cup on the back, yeah. on the back of a bull, but it's a, it's a 62 caliber. Yeah, it's a monster. I mean, so if you yeah. think it size-wise, it's a 62 caliber and, and, and it's punching big holes, yeah. It's punching punch big and, holes. And it's like a 4,000 PSI fill, is that, a, is that right? Yeah, I think this is a 4,000 PSI fill All right. and, uh, on the tank. And yeah. so, but I mean, the volume, if you look at the volume on yeah, it, it's quite large. Yeah. The, uh, the one thing I was gonna tell you on this, when you use this, so for the users, when they get out there, just a, just a quick mental note for them. So once it's in place, once you start it over, once it breaks loose, 
if you let go, it'll automatically yep. stop when you get to that point. Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of a detent. It's a detent. Detents in. That's it. Yeah, and and the uh, so the bolt handle here uh, is really beefy, but can actually be flipped over to the other right. side, right? Ambidextrous. Yeah. So for you lefties out there, Umarex isn't leaving you guys out. This is going to be really handy in the field. You got a full pick rail uh, for your optics. You know, it obviously maybe not going to be using optics if you're shooting right. the shot shells, um, but well. Heck, heck, if you're after turkeys, you're definitely using optics. But. Right, you can use like a red dot on it or something like yeah. that. You and know, one of the things for me, like yeah. we talk about the ambidextrous side for the cocking the charging yeah. cover. Sometimes I forget to charge it, and I go to take the shot, and I'm like, nothing. I like the left-hand charging side because I grab it while my right hand's yep. on it, ready to shoot. Yep. All you got to do is if you're in that position already, and you're here, you just reach up, boom, and cock it. Yep. So you don't have to take your hand off of here. You can cock it, be right back on it. Yeah. No, that, so. that's a good point. And so the chokes. Um, so it's going to come with a rifled choke, correct? Correct. So all it's right. got a rifled choke in there, and it's a, that last part. So it's smooth bore all the way down. We have the choke at the end. It rifles it and yep. it stabilizes it. And it's it's pretty darn accurate with those slugs, guys. At, at range day last year, we were yeah. shooting 100 yard shots. With them. Yeah, which is this thing's going to be more than capable yes. uh, of some decent distance hunting. Now with the shot shells, I know those are newer. Uh, we hadn't seen those before, so uh, you're going to have to change out that choke. It's not going to come with one, right? Uh, or is, like for the for the shells. Oh, for the shell, you know, for the shell portion of it. Yeah. Um, no, I, I actually shoot it with it in and without. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. I mean, you, you can. It'll I start to you. rotate it, but. I, oh, I, so you don't have to change the choke, I guess. You don't technically have to change okay, the choke got if, it. You don't, if you don't want to, because it'll stay inside the cup, and when it engages the rifle, it might put a little bit of a spin on it, but sure. technically it's not going to throw your, your right. shot pattern. Okay. And stuff okay. Off but this there, is so. threaded the same way any of your twenty gauge shotgun right. barrels are going to be. So if you do have a choke that you prefer or something like that, for depending right. on what shell you setup you do. Out. Yeah, and these shells are going to be, you're going to be able to fill them yourselves, which I think is really cool. Uh, you're going to give everybody the ability, so whether you're going, you know, you need that Three, smaller sixes, shot. Threes, sixes, eights, whatever right. you want. Whatever you need, BBs. You know. Maybe you got a rattlesnake in the yard, you have BBs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I mean, what BB, it's, you can buy BBs, so yeah. if you got extra BBs laying around the house, dump yeah. them in there and fill them up. Yeah, so no problem if you if you have, like, you can't use lead shot, you need tungsten or something like that. Right. It's, it's all going to be at your fingertips. You do what you want to do with it, which I think is really, really sweet. Um, so the Primal 20, it's actually on the website right now you can pre-order it go check it out this thing is badass you guys are gonna love it uh, you, guys, you better pre-order i'm telling you because this is one of those things that go oh, oh my gosh it's a freaking air gun well shooting 62 caliber for going out and hunting yeah i mean that's punching a big hole it's whammy yeah i actually took a a, a red deer a, a hind a female red deer yeah Very like a 400 pound animal this thing was monstrous just double lunged her and uh, she went about 30 yards and toppled over. Wow, I mean, you know, amazing. yeah, this thing's a monster. So check it out on the website now. Iden, let's see what else you guys got. All right, Iden. So this is a new brake barrel, but not just any brake barrel from Umarex. Uh, this is the Emerge. Tell us about it. It's the Emerge. So it's a, it's a uh, 22 caliber, and uh, it actually comes at 22 and 17. Yep. And so what's nice about it? You load it once, shoot it, shoot it 12 times. Yeah, you got a magazine you got a on. Magazine there. on. Yep. So it's kind of. And the way that the magazine operates, you can actually, when we just, we, if, every time that you cock the gun, you know, we break the barrel here and we cock it, yep. it'll automatically index the magazine to go through there. So that right there for me is, is a touchdown. Because the brake barrels tend to be, you have to have the dexterity if it's cold outside, Get or those. your fingers aren't as nimble to try to put it in there. Yeah. This is easy. You can load up a couple magazines, throw it on there. Yep. And I call this like, you know, kind of the gun you keep in the closet, like, oh, there's a squirrel or a raccoon or a, Bingo. you know, something tearing up the garden or whatever it is, you can yep. send it outside and take care of it, so. Yeah, and you still got a lot of Umarex's hallmark features here, I believe, is still silence air stuff here going yes. on, uh, but you do have open sights as well. I know that's something a lot of you guys out there want. You know, you see a lot of these multi-shot brake barrels that don't have open sights. You have to go with the scope. This one's got the open sights, fiber optics, if you want to go that route, but a pick rail at the back for the scope. Um, yeah, I mean, this thing's got a lot going for it for a pretty low price. Yeah, for the, yeah, the yeah. price is low on it. And, uh, you know, I, I think from, from this gun here, like, I got a lot of folks who are like, I just need a gun, but I don't have anything to charge it with. Yeah, right. I'm like, here it is. Here you go, brake barrel, you done. Just load it, load it once, and you got it, do whatever you need. Because sometimes, like, you just have it sitting around until something pops up, yeah. you know, maybe squirrel in the garden tearing everything up, yep. or raccoons outside doing getting in the trash or something like that. But, yeah, it's, it's a really nice gun. It shoots good. It's gas piston. Yep. So 
I mean, it's got a nice sound to it. Yeah, we've actually got these on the website now too. We had already a shipment come in, so uh, they may very well be in stock right now if you want to go pick it up if you're looking for a new multi shop rig barrel. So Aiden, uh, the Nodos was announced last year um, and, and to a lot of fanfare, and we actually just had a shipment come in, sold out in under a day. So uh, if you're pining for one of these, well, you should be pining for one of these because this is a sick carbine, uh, but you can also run it as a pistol. Uh, run us through some of the features for the folks at home. So Picatinny rail up on top. It's a left-handed cocking feature from here. Yep. Pull it down, and we have a teardrop shape left-hand load magazine. Yep. Holds seven in there, and it's, and it's a 22 caliber. Yep. Easily going to be the gun of the year. E uh, this thing is, everybody that shoots, it's like, I want one. Yeah. And the price is, I mean. Uh, yeah, uh, right around 300 bucks yeah, for the you, carbine yeah, version. You're yeah, you 300 on this yeah. thing. And it comes with an adjustable stock. Yep. You know, for an extra 10 bucks, you can get the pistol grips for yep. it. And you can also get the open sights that you can throw on it as right. well. So th there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, regulated, correct? <laughs> Yeah, so yep. you, you, uh, you do have a fill probe situation going on there, but that's all right. And uh, I, I want to say like a 250 bar, 3600 PSI fill. It's a 36, yeah, yeah 3625 yeah, yeah. on the PSI on the fill on that yeah. thing. I, I think the part you guys are going to love the most is how quiet this thing is. Uh, it's packing some decent power, but you can, uh, it's really I can, quiet. I can cock it right here and give you a preview. Yeah. That's about how loud it is. Yeah, it makes almost no almost noise. Almost no noise. Yeah, it, it's really and impressive. It's so light. You, yeah. What's weird is it's so light, like you actually get a little bit of a doop. You can feel the gun kind of yep. jump a little bit, but yep. I mean, this thing's accurate. You start shooting yeah. this thing, we were shooting at 75 yards yesterday, I mean, at range day. Yeah, you so. guys are going to see a review of this real soon. We've got one in house that I'm testing right now, and uh, so far proven to be really accurate and a lot of fun to shoot. Yes. And uh, we're going to show you all that stuff here very soon. Um, Aiden, man, thank you so much for running us through the As new always, stuff this year. I, I appreciate it, it brother. How's it going, guys? I'm Nace with Bar Air Guns. We're going to be going over a couple new items and some things coming out um, within our company this year. We're going to start off here with the 1866 CO2 version. It's going to be available in silver, black, and gold. Um, this is CO2 powered, so you're going to load your CO2 in the back. Um, lever action just like you would. It's going to eject those shells, shoot pellets. Uh, we're going to offer this in 22 caliber as well as 177, and um, we have smoothbore and a rifled barrel will be optional within um, whichever you decide. So the 1866 uh, CO2 series is part of our Cowboy series, which um, along with that series is our Schofield number three. We have this available in a five inch and a seven inch in three different variants. That's going to be aged, gunmetal, and chrome. Um, the, West, the Wells Fargo edition is our five inch. Um, this Schofield um, operates just as a regular Schofield would. Um, something new that we're doing with it this year is that we're going to offer a rifled barrel and another caliber, which would be 22 caliber. So you'll be those guys that want more precision, accuracy. They'll be able to fire that Schofield um, with pellets and have more accurate uh, shooting with the, with the Schofield. So this is the Bar 400E. Um, this is the first ever all electric platform shooting 177. Um, this is just an awesome all-around gun. It feels just like a regular AR platform. Like you take it out on the range and someone would, a lot of guys that come into our booth are like, I didn't realize that was an air gun. So it's just a really cool option for maybe the kids or someone to pick up and be able to go out and shoot. Uh, we are offering this in a tan version as well that's now on the market and it's gonna be about $25 more. But all of our guns are sold without batteries, but this summer we'll be coming out with uh, packs where you'll be able to purchase the rifle with a battery and a charger. Hi, this is Gio with Barra Air Guns, and we're talking about the 1100Z. We released this gun last year, uh, but we've added some improvements, some options for you customers. So one of the things we hear a lot is the regulator. Uh, so this year we are offering a regulator. It's a good quality one made in the Czech Republic. To go along with that regulator and the idea of being able to customize your PCP, we're also offering a 22-inch barrel option. We're also offering a three inch longer air tube. So you'll be able to order this directly from us, kind of pick out what you want. Do you want a longer barrel? Do you want a regulator? Do you want a walnut stock? This is a new option that we'll be offering as well. So stay tuned for those details. Uh, all of these things allow you to customize the gun for either more shot count, more power, uh, greater consistency. So. I hope you all enjoy the new innovations that we're bringing to the 1100Z. 
Hi, I'm Kevin from Hawk Optics. We're here at the 2023 SHOT Show in Las Vegas, and I'm excited to show you our new rifle scopes for 2023. A lot of really cool products to show you. Uh, first, we have a new line of fiber optic illuminated rifle scopes. Uh, there's four different models. There's a one to four, a one to eight, a two and a half to 10, and a three to 12. The, the quickest way to tell you the best feature on this is the fiber optic illumination allows you to control the illumination better than any other method. On um, its highest brightness, it gives you true daylight brightness. That's really important in uh, very bright hunting conditions or in tactical situations where you need true daylight brightness. It also allows you to control the brightness in low light conditions with a very crisp dot. Uh, these are in the ballpark of $500 to $600. Um, they'll be available in uh, uh, March, uh, at the latest early April, uh, but excellent scopes with fiber optic illumination. In no particular order, I'll also show you our, uh, our new crossbow scope for 2023. Uh, our best sellers right now are the XB1 and our XB30 crossbow scopes. This one is a merge of our best features. Uh, it's a 30 mil tube, a 32 millimeter objective. It has both red and green illumination. It has a reticle that's the same as our XB1, which is our most popular reticle. It has yardage markers from 20 yards all the way out to 100 yards. And it also has our patented locking zoom ring. So once you adjust this for the speed of your bow, you can lock it into place and then you won't accidentally throw off your adjustment uh, with that scope. So this will retail around 239 or 249 and we've just begun shipping these to stores recently. So a lot of our archery dealers have told us that it won't take long before this will be our best selling uh, crossbow scope. And it really is great glass and great features, especially for the price. Uh, this is our new line of one to eight uh, scopes and the Vantage 30 wide angle line. Uh, there's three different reticles, a circle dot, a tactical dot, and a 556 uh, BDC reticle. Uh, we've always done very well with our one to fours and our one to sixes, but a lot of tactical shooters are gravitating to a one to eight. Uh, in the Vantage 30 wide angle, you'll get excellent glass, excellent, excellent uh, light in low light conditions. Um, and with those three reticles, it should be really, really popular, especially for the price. These will be in the ballpark of $450 to $550. Uh, we're very excited to introduce our new line of Frontier range finding binoculars. Uh, the one thing that our engineers focused on primarily with this design was the clarity of the glass. Uh, when you put a rangefinder in a binocular system, it does take away some of the clarity and the light transmission. Uh, we put a lot of focus into the creation of the prism to make sure that it had 100% reflectivity. So if you compare our rangefinding binoculars to others that are on the market, you're going to find that the, the, the clarity and the brightness in low light conditions is going to be outstanding. We wouldn't put the Frontier name on it otherwise. Uh, but a couple of other cool features. Uh, it has the range button on the right side and the mode button on the left side. It has a hunt mode and a rain mode, which will ignore brush or raindrops. Uh, it'll give you a really quick reading. It's, it's accurate, uh, plus or minus a yard. There's an eight power and a 10 power. The eight power goes up to 2,000 yards and the, the 10 power goes up to 2,500 yards. Um, it has uh, six different levels of brightness for the reticle. Um, and uh, it, has, uh, it also has a scan mode where you can actually hold the button down and as you move the binoculars, it will change the readout so you can see what the different distances are for the different objects that are in your view. Um, we've just begun shipping these. Uh, you'll see it on Pyramid Air shortly. Um, the, uh, the 8 power will retail about $1,300 and the 10 power I think is $1,400. So if you look at other, other range finding binoculars on the market, it's going to be a great glass for a really great price. Also very proud to introduce our new prism sights. Uh, we're going to have a one power, a four power, and a six power. Uh, if someone's using a red dot and they want a little bit of magnification, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people will go to a prism site. Uh, for the one power, they might go to a prism site because first of all, it allows you to uh, focus on the uh, reticle. And if for some reason your battery went out, it does have a glass etched reticle so you still can use the reticle. Uh, we're, we're proud to offer them in the four power and the six power with a 556 uh, BDC reticle. And feedback that we've gotten during our research 
Uh, we wanted to have a four power rather than a three because it makes that reticle a lot, uh, uh, makes it larger and a lot more usable. But again, by being able to focus on the reticle with the uh, ocular dial and by having a glass etch reticle, uh, it makes it very effective no matter what your shooting conditions are. Um, also, the clarity of the glass um, for the price, we think that these new prism sites will, be, will do really well. They'll be on the Pyramid Air uh, site here very soon.